talking about how you can get out being miserable. Because you're tired of being miserable. You look at your bank account, damn it's Friday, and I got like 15 bucks for the weekend. What the? Because you got dreams and goals and so do I, we're going to talk about it. Talking about curing being miserable. Why is a person miserable? Right? Money? Money might not be good. Too much debt. Overweight. Dare I say underweight. Riddled with sicknesses and diseases. Real ones and made up ones. The people you deal with. I bet you everybody here's got one person in their life that's oh got always does a good job of making you feel miserable when you're done talking to them. So miserable is all around us. Miserable is in us. How much time do we invest complaining to ourselves in our minds? Being these really bad critics of us. We're all guilty. You know, US Gov did a study, they asked Americans, what are your dreams? Americans stood with their mouths open. A very small percentage could answer the question like that. Why? Because they're miserable. They're dealing with drama. They're dealing with their own dramas. We all have it. There's things about you you don't like. There's things about you you want to fix. There's things that have been sitting on the shelf for a long time you haven't tended to. There's people you need to get rid of. There's some money you need to earn. Back to our dreams and goals. And most of our gentlemen just want to, you know, there's some dudes here that really want some info. And I'm talking to them. I'm talking to everybody. You're miserable because you don't know what your dreams are. You have no dreams and you've got no goals that move you towards them because you don't know what they are. So where do you start? There's one thing we can all agree on. We can all hold hands. That's right. You hold hands with me. We can lock arms. That we could do. Dare I say we can lock legs. Oh, let me take it one step further. We could spoon. That's right, we could spoon all around the world because we all agree on these three things. Oh yeah, touch your nose if you like to spoon. Oh, I know I do. Money. We all want more money. We all want good health. We want to look better. And we want romantic options. And that's different for each and every one of us. But we all basically want those same three things. Just think how your life changes when money's not an issue, health is not an issue, and romantic options are not an issue. There's people in that position. Damn. Whew. The rest of us out here slugging it out. Oh yeah, and I'm slugging it out with you because you do have dreams. So let's talk about those three areas. There's something you could do in one of those three areas. Because as soon as you start working in those three areas, you start to see something of a dream happening. Sounds crazy, I know, but it doesn't matter how old you are. I would think the older you are, the worse it is. Maybe you've got some dreams you haven't pursued. And we're sitting here talking for a reason. That Chrissy Salem guy said I should pursue my dreams. What does he know? I work hard all day. My back is killing me. Oh, my feet. My health problems. Oh, the kids. Oh, the damn dog so quick to pull out a list of excuses why you can't pursue your dreams, your goals. You've set them aside long enough. There's a lot of you that have. We're all guilty of that. No more. If you know what they are, bring them up. If you don't, pay attention. Three simple things. So if it's money, how much? How much you want to make? Mm. Don't be crazy like a bazillion dollars. We need an amount. Because that sets forth a plan. Or is it the way you look you want to lose weight? Oh, Chrissy, I've tried every diet. No diet works. I don't believe you tried every diet. You'll find the one that fits your lifestyle. Keep trying them. I mean, that's how I got to looking like I look. Diet and training for me, Spartan race. Anybody do Spartan Race or like a Tough Mudder? That's what I'm talking about. I'm no fanatic. Amateur. But look. Mm. For amateur. Their training is incredible. Diet too. 
They got a great YouTube channel. You're probably here on TikTok. I don't I don't follow them everywhere. I read the book twice and I've been hooked ever since. <clears throat> Spartan Up by Joe DeSena is the name of the book. Classic. Changed my life. Shout out to Joe DeSena <clears throat> and everybody from Metal Mascara. Talking about how you can get out being miserable. Because you're tired of being miserable. You look at your bank account, damn it's Friday, and I got like 15 bucks for the weekend. Little Caesars. Or if you got 30 bucks for the weekend, maybe Domino's. Because you don't buy that cheap stuff. Maybe you go to Walmart, mac and cheese. It's tight. It's tight like that for a lot of us. So can you work more? They said the average American works 37 and a half hours a week. Are you that average American? 37 and a half hours a week? I mean, real talk, that doesn't impress anybody. You've got to step it up. And when you step it up, you just watch your self-confidence start to bloom. It's crazy. So ask for overtime. Get a part-time job. And remember, you're not doing these things for the rest of your life. You do things for a season. You want to move your financial needle for a season. So you might work a part-time job, work some extra overtime. Help around the neighborhood. Somebody needs something in your neighborhood. Or is it weight loss? You're going to try that new program. It looks good. It sounds good. You're going to hit it. You got 50 pounds to lose. 100 pounds. Or maybe you're at a plateau you can't bust through. But that's the fun thing about goals. Because when you achieve that goal, there's a person. It took a person to achieve that goal. And that person is you. And before we had this conversation, you said, no way, I could never do it. And boom, you did it. Isn't that awesome? You know it. Touch your nose if that's awesome. You know it. If we've never met before, I'm Chrissy Salem, Metal Mascara, blasting away here on TikTok like a madman. In fact, we were at the In This Moment concert last night, and Jesse Pump has had to have posted nine videos. She's grounded off the phone. Number one, she doesn't have her own social media, because guys are pervs. And while I'm sleeping, she does nine of them. I say, girl, you're grounded from the phone. At least for a day. Maybe. She did just does a great job. But she really got into in this moment. Well, we both did. I sent a chaperone with her. Some controversy there, but no controversy. Just a chaperone. He's in the videos. I was at a... <laughs> I was someplace else. <clears throat> Anyway, so getting out of misery. Because I've been there too. I understand. What is it about relationships? Maybe there's a partner in your life you know has got to go. Man, you got to break up with them. They don't support you. They don't help you. I mean, maybe you're a chick with a dude and a dude's not helping. Dude's not supporting. Not giving you the respect you deserve. Or maybe vice versa. You're looking at your chick. Man, she's fat. You're sick of looking at her. She doesn't help with the rent. She doesn't respect you. See, it could be on one foot. It could be on the other. But it's that person. When we talk about relationships, we're all quick to pull out a list of who I want, what I want in a relationship from a person that's going to come through that door. And they never do. Never will. Because the problem is us. we got to work on us. We attract what we are. Works two ways. You attract what you are. I know in my life when I've been a jerk, when I've been uncourteous and uncordial, people, places, and things treated me that way back. I didn't get the message. But over time, I got the message. I'm not going to be that person. You got a temper? Oh, I get pissed, Chrissy. Man, you got to work on that. Social climate. Got to be in control. Got to be cordial. Sometimes we're walking on eggshells or on rice paper. Mm. But we're chilling, vibe, having a good time. We've never met before in Christy Salem. I know, I look amazing, don't I? You can look amazing too. It's just a matter of diet and training. And that one C word, the C word, consistency every day. Just a little step every day. Mm, makes a big difference over time. Whether it's your money, the way you look, or when you're working on yourself. 
So doesn't that sound exciting? We're talking about you. Hell yeah, it sounds exciting. Touch your nose. Because we're talking about you. You are on the table. Well, both of us are. And we're talking. I'm looking at you. I'm saying, look, you've got dreams. Here's some goals you got to start working on to get to those dreams because you have, there's a life in your head that you see that you want to have. Life experiences, right? You know, somebody wants to swim with a turtle or somebody wants to go down in a shark cage. It's all kinds of crazy life experiences that we all have, that we want. And that takes money. That takes a certain kind of person. You start becoming that person by working extra, by doing more. Because there is a life in you that you see, that you want. And that life has a dollar amount. You look a certain way. You're wearing a certain style of clothes. And man, you got somebody classy on your arm or next to you. It's going to take some work to make that come to life, to manifest it. Mm, there's, a, there's a crazy word. If I say manifest to the guys, they're like, what are you talking about? If I use the word goals, boom, they understand. But if I talk to my ladies, mm, you understand what manifest means. So we want to write our goals down. Grant Cardone, our modern day philosopher, a modern day Socrates, dare I say a Marcus Aurelius, says, write your goals down when you wake up, before you go to sleep and when you're stressed out. Now, when I heard that, nothing new to me, except that stressed out one. I said, hmm, so if I got a lot going on, you want me to stop and write? I thought it was a dumb idea. But so happens one day, I was putting out fires. I was stressed out, going crazy. And my journal was nearby. So I started writing my goals down. And oh, within six, seven, less than 10 minutes, I was focused. There were no fires to put out. There was no stress. I was like, focus, boom, boom, boom. I said, damn. What is it about the, 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 the pen and the paper and the mind connection? If that's never happened to you, if you want to try it, have that journal around. Because you'll get stressed out. You might get stressed out this morning, this afternoon, tonight. Stress never says, here I come. It's just pow. But if you got your journal nearby, then you just start writing your goals. What are your goals with money? What about the way you look, your health? What about working on yourself? Isn't that exciting? You could pick you could pick one or pick all three. But I tell you what, if you pick all three, ooh, you got to be ambitious. Because it's a lot of work. I can't even do all three at the same time. With equal energy. <sighs> but there's some people that can. Man, they hit it hard. So let's do that, man. Start writing your goals down. And it could be in anything. A blank journal is the best. That's what I buy. Amazon real cheap. Maybe probably here on TikTok too. And then you want to put together a vision board. Everybody needs a vision board. Because a vision board is the life that you envision. In your heart, in your soul. When you're by yourself at night, thinking about all oh, the future. There's the life you see. Well, man, we're going to do an exercise. We're going to download some, some similar pictures. We're going to go to Target or Walmart. Mm. Instaprints. What a concept. Six cents for one. Get around the spot. And then we go to the school we go to the school supply aisle. And we step up to the shelf. And we reach for an Elmer's Triboard. They come in three sizes. And we're gonna get some glue, we're gonna go home. Now we've all got a space. All of us have a place that we call our space. For some of us, for some people, it's a car, it's a bedroom, it's a den, it's a man cave, it's a woman cave. But that's where it's going to go, where you could see it. And we're going to glue the pictures on. Remember that I was talking about a dollar amount? Get the dollar amount up there. Big green numbers. Mm. Quotes. All of us have favorite quotes or part of a song. Like, man, there's a lot of Black and Fail Bright fans here. Man, their lyrics are... But all their lyrics are like quotes. Kick ass. I was talking to somebody that came to my mind. But uh, for me, kiss, right? Life's such a treat. And it's time you taste it. Oh, yeah, we need to start tasting life. And life tastes good. It doesn't taste miserable, bitter, 
sour. So, so what's going on? So, what's going on? so you're writing them down. We've put together a vision where we put it up. We can see it. And we start working. And so, and then you say, well, Chrissy, what happened to the, the, what happened to feeling miserable? What happened to all the drama? Well, guess what? It never left. It never goes away. But when you're a person who's got dreams and goals and you're working on them, all that drama, all that gray space, that fuzz, that the kind of life you get a raspberry for, it takes a step back from you. Because, man, you're on a mission. Self-confidence a little bit higher. Chin up a little bit higher. Mm. Chest out. Hips out. Mm. You start to become a different person. Because you know what your goals are. You're working towards them. You're writing them down. After a long day's work, when you unwind, there it is on the wall. Mm. Mm, your life. The most beautiful thing. I always get worked up. Excuse me. But it's a fact. I mean, if it's the one document to go around, and that's, all right, we got some hearts coming up. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one was good. That was like dark chocolate. That was really good. Mm. Caramel. Oof. Oh, not pumpkin spice. It's not time yet for pumpkin spice. I don't want to get involved in pumpkin spice. Because you drink one, then you can't stop. Oh, yeah, people. Chrissy Sam, we've never met before. Mm, it's great meeting you. I'm on your table. Well, they say, what did you have for breakfast? Who did you have breakfast with? I, say, I had breakfast with Chrissy Salem. Say, oh, yeah, what did you guys talk about? Talked about my dreams and my goals. And they'll tell you to shut up. They're not listening to you. Do you think your kids are listening to you? <laughs> Do you think your parents are listening to you? Do you think your co-workers are listening to you? Nobody's listening to any of us. Except us right here. You're listening to me and I'm listening to you. See, somebody's listening. But good luck finding them out there. But I get it. That's why we're here. That's why we're together. Because we're listening. And it's fun to listen when we're talking about us, about you. All that drama, all that noise, boop, takes a step back. It has to. But don't try to keep one foot in the drama and one foot in this, uh, this new life you're thinking about. Because it won't work. The new will always spit out the old. And the old will overshadow the new. Gotta be all in. And... and Argue with me. Why wouldn't you be all in for your dreams and your goals? Go on, let me have it. Let me have it with a big stick. How dare you, Chrissy, tell me to work on my dreams and goals? You don't know my situation. I don't believe you. Excuses. We all have a list of them. Don't think I don't. When I least expect it, I'm looking at a list in my hand like, damn, get that out of here. I had somebody say, I'm going to wait till the first of the year. What the hell is going to happen at the first of the year? All in now. You want to make more money? All in now. Who cares Christmas is coming? What's that got to do with your dreams and your goals? That's what everybody else is worried about. So you're going to take your dreams and goals and set them aside because you want to worry about Christmas? You got your priorities screwed up. Your dreams and goals come first. Oh, there's more hearts. Mmm, light chocolate. Mm. That one's like a Tootsie Roll. Mm. Am I somebody's Tootsie Roll? I think on this slide today, right now, I am somebody's Tootsie Roll. Mm. So if you got a Tootsie, move it. Are you standing up? Move your hips a little bit. Let's pretend we're together, right? Nothing weird. No groping. I got groped last week. And it smarted. I had a red welt on my cheek. Yeah, we're just chilling and vibing. You're like, damn, boom. I'm with Chrissy Salem. And I'm with you. 
Isn't that cool? Damn, you know it. And we'll turn around together. Oh, and we're looking at each other in the eye. You got beautiful eyes. Oh, you've got beautiful eyes. Isn't that cool? Hey, it doesn't matter who you are. You got beautiful eyes. I'm not being weird. If you're taking it weird, that's on you. I'm just being... You got good looking eyes. Let's just leave it at that. All right, I won't talk about it no more. I'll leave your eyes out of the conversation. I know there's one of you out there. Mm. Have you been to my profile here? Oh, it's the most voted. It's voted the most bingeable. Because once you start, you can't get enough. Eye-popping fun. A lot of head-scratching. What did I just watch? But, mm, he makes sense. And he looks so good. But yeah, the In This Moment concert, we had a great time last night. Because we don't want to be miserable. I don't want to be miserable. Jesse didn't want to be miserable. So let's go to a show. And uh, uh, Ice Nine Kills 2 was playing. And I guess Avatar was there. But they were like a last minute. Because we saw the shirts. We were like, why are they selling Avatar shirts? Because it wasn't on the bill. It wasn't on the Ticketmaster thing. But I guess they were there. We missed it. But we saw uh, Ice Nine Kills. And we saw, of course, in this moment. It is crazy. Everybody together singing. <laughs> that song. I can be your whore. It's just hilarious. Because really... You gotta be a whore for your dreams and goals. You have to. Nothing else matters except your dreams and goals. It's like when you're on an airplane, all oh, those beautiful hearts. Mm. Like when you're on an airplane, they tell you, put the air mask on first and take care of your kid. Cause you know, Mr. and Mrs. Noble's gonna put it on the kid first while they wait and then they die. It's the same principle, you take care of you. And everybody in your circle, they all benefit. Everybody, you know, your immediate family is going to benefit from your increased money. Your family's going to get an immediate benefit from you looking amazing. Because you'll probably have them out exercising with you. Oh, and your partner's going to be like, what's going on with you? And you're going to say, listen, you need to follow Chrissy Salem. And get the partner on the program. Or you just want to be miserable. It's easy being miserable. It takes no effort. It takes no effort to be miserable, but you use the same amount of energy as if you were going to be positive. Oh, the beautiful hearts. Now, why won't you want to be positive? About the one life, about your life, the beautiful life. Remember you were talking about it's on a vision board? I mean, instead of a mansion? Is there a, a doctor, a lawyer involved? Is there a, a, a real cool car? We've all got an idea what a cool car is. Is it in Florida, California? Is it on an island? That's the person I'm talking to. I know you hear me. Let's get to work. What can you do today to get to work? Is there something you could do? Maybe it's just watching some, some, some kind of, you know, all it takes is a small piece of information to turn our lives upside down. That's all it takes, all those gorgeous hearts. All it takes is a small piece of information. And maybe I've been that small piece of information for you. Act on it. Act on it while it's hot. Man, it's, I'm hot in your hand. Act on it. Because mm. if you let it sit, it's going to cool off and get cold. But nah, I don't want it. And another day passes and your money stays the same. You look down when you're sitting down. You got seven rolls. You thought there was six. Then you look over at your partner, you're like, what am I doing with that person? So you can always come back, you, you know, you can always come back. Any Chrissy Salem live streams is going to be talking about this. Oh, because I remind you over and over and over. You know why? Because nobody else will. You ask them to study about Americans. They ask Americans, do you get, encur you get any encouragement throughout the week? Surprisingly, no. Uh, just to, let, let's make sure. There might be somebody behind me that wants to encourage you today. Let's see. Oh, there is nobody there. It's just you and I. I'm with you. I'm in your corner. What do you got to go for? Go for it. Make sure you follow me because I'm talking about this all the time. And yeah, I got a YouTube channel too.
my name's, I'm on all the platforms. DM me, connect with me. If this has served you, if I've woken you up, if I've lit your little butt on fire, or maybe you got a big butt that you're working on to make it smaller, if I've lit it, DM me, leave a comment. Or if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Chrissy, listen, this whole dreams and goals thing, no thanks. So you're tired of being miserable. You're right when you feel that the days are empty. Oh, beautiful hearts. The days feel empty, they feel gray. Same old thing over again. No way out. You earn a little bit more, you wind up spending more. You shouldn't have bought the bag of Doritos, but you did. You gotta get back on, gotta get back, stand back up. You know, if there's one thing, Rocky movies, bear with me, and Jason and Freddy and Michael Myers all have in common, they all get up and keep going after the target. What an example. What a crazy, not real life example. It's the same for us, man. It's going to knock you down. Get up. Keep going after your target. Working on your money? What's your target? Working on your weight loss? What's your target? Working on lifting weights? What's your target? Working on getting rid of somebody? If you got to break up with them, break up with them. You've been through worse. And you made it. Got to be brave. Need some brave? And follow me. Because we're always talking about your dreams and goals. And how do you get them? How to stay focused on them? How to keep your motivation high? Because I keep mine high. And I share with you how I keep it high. So you can keep yours high. Now you can argue with me, but the point is if your motivation's high, well then we agree. If your motivation sucks, don't argue with me. Try some of the things I'm saying. Because we've all we've all looked at life through these, these gray lenses. This woe is me. Things are miserable. Life sucks. Who hasn't gone through that? I mean, come on. Really. We all have. But may I learn that lesson from life? We choose that stuff. Don't choose to be miserable. The people in your life, you tolerate them. Who are you tolerating? Why are you tolerating them? Man, if they gotta go, they gotta go. There's other people. There's eight billion people on the planet. Someone will fill their space. Somebody better. Oh, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem talking about your dreams and goals. Huh, I'm taking a little breather. Boy, it got really hot, didn't it? Jesse's telling me to turn it down a little bit. It's okay. I'll relax. But I get really worked up. Because we're all so quick. I know in my humanity, we're always quick to make excuses why we don't do something. And in our heads, we're convinced, well, they're 100% bona fide, so it doesn't matter what Chrissy Salem says. But if you examine these so-called bona fide reasons, you see most of them are crap. That's what I saw. We're both human, you're going to see the same thing. Call yourself on it. If it doesn't apply, it doesn't apply. But we're chilling and vibing, turning it up a little bit. Because it's good having everybody here. Oh, it's a blast. Every Friday morning. Have you seen all the videos from the In This Moment concert? Jesse must have posted nine of them. She's grounded. I said nothing for 24 hours. Needs to take a break. I just keep talking about that chaperone. I'm not going to say any more about it. You'll see it in the videos. Have you been to my profile? Oh, it's voted the most bingeable. You won't get enough. You'll be like, damn, where did he come from? I love this guy. Mm, give me some more, baby. Mm. I've always got more. Because there's days you need a little bit more. And nobody's handing it out. Nobody's handing it out. Chris in Salem is handing it out. You put up with worse crap before. You Whatever you're going through today, man, hit it. Gotta be a lion or you gotta be a lioness. Or maybe it's just a finish Friday strong. Maybe you're in sales, right? Week was a little slow. Kick ass today. Don't give up yet. I'm your production. 
Man, you're gonna be, you'll be clocking out in no time. And somebody else is gonna take over the headache. Making sense? Oh yeah, if that makes sense, scratch your head. I know, right? Shout out to my good friends here, Ink Spot, Raven Spell Song, Amy Lee, Dizzy Chicken, Eldenus Rex, Joshua Cart, Happy Flirt, Jeffrey. Oh, there's so many to remember, I'm trying. Cast Iron Mama. Uh, but you guys are amazing, because I know I'm always mentioning you. Oh, and some new fans from the In This, uh, In this Moment fan group. Yeah, I met somebody new. Really cool. So I've been mentioning them, too. You got something cool to share? Well, share it. Don't wait to post. Just post it. What's stopping you? Someone's going to say something about it? So what? If you need, you know, maybe you want to be a creator. You want to do something like that. And you got something on your phone. You're like, yeah, I want to post it. Do it. Get it over with. It changes you as a person. I guarantee you, you'll feel a little bit different. Because you put yourself out there. That applies to any situation, jobs, relationships. You put yourself out there. You're going to get whacked. You're going to get burned. Because the person you become as you successfully pass through that process. If you end up whining and crying like a baby bitching and moaning, you lost. Got to take it on the chin while your chin is up. And then you become that person you think about. That person that lies in bed thinking about a beautiful future. Those life experiences. Making sense, right? Scratch your head. I know, right? But having a great time chilling and vibing. If you've never met before, <clears throat> I'm Chrissy Salem. I'm on your table. And you're on my table. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, you know it. Chill and vibing. Talking for real. Because I, I would bet nobody's going to talk about your dreams and goals today if it's not you and I. You and I need to do that. That's why we're here right now. Because your dreams and goals matter. Maybe you're wavering a little bit. It's been a rough week. I mean, we made it to Friday, right? What the hell? Pedal to the metal. That's how I'm doing it. So if I could do it, you could do it. If you think you can't, here. There you go. Grab some of my sparkle on my side. I'll share it. Because if I could do it, you could do it. I'm Chrissy Salem, Metal Mascara Channel. Every night, new show, 7 o'clock. And I hit you with the most kick-ass hard rock or heavy metal song and the kick-ass message. Oh, man, to get you moving, get you rolling, keep you focused on your dreams and goals. That's right. That's what my YouTube channel is about. TikTok's a little bit different. That's why I'm sharing what I do. And I got a podcast up, too. Podcast audio only. It's not a video podcast. Audio only up on YouTube. YouTube music. As a matter of fact. So yeah, there's no excuse not to have me around. There's no excuse not to have me reminding you about your dreams and your goals. Now have we had a great time? You know it. Are you going to stick around for the after show party? Yeah, I'm going to talk about some of the concert stuff. But a lot of people got to get back to work. A lot of people got to shut their phones because somebody's coming. I mean, look how I look. Would scare anybody right on a Friday morning? Imagine you're having a cup of coffee. You walk by somebody's phone. <laughs> I'm just messing around. All right, everybody, I'm Chrissy Salem. I love you. 